Hey folks, I'm at my brother's house. Gonna try and uh, uh, zero in these rifles a little bit better. I've got two more boxes of ammunition for the Creedmoor. These ones, uh, where are they here? 140 grain Federals. They're going, let's see, uh, 2750 at the muzzle. So we'll see how that goes. And I also got some of these uh, Winchester PowerPoint 129 grains. Gonna give those a shot. These are doing, let's see, 2820 at the muzzle. So we'll see. Let me show you what I got here for range with my brother's place. I got my lead sled out because I want to make sure, take me out of the equation, make sure these are hitting where they should be hitting. Maybe it's just me making mistakes. This table is not the most solid. But hopefully it'll do. Target's downrange. It's not quite 100 yards, but I mean, it's within 5, 10 yards, so it's going to have to do for now. Um, this is the uh, Weatherby Vanguard, the Hush model. 6.5 grade more. After that, I'm gonna try and shoot the uh, 7 PRC and tie that down. I bought some more ammunition for that, both Federals. One's 170 grain, one's 175 grain. One has the ELD match, ELDX match ammunition, and this one has the, this ascent, terminal ascent, 170 grains. See how those will go afterwards. Give it a shot. All right, there, the Winchester PowerPoint, 129 grains. I was shooting high, so I was bringing it down, and I brought it down too low, so you can see the three high ones. And then I brought it down too low. You see the three small ones there. So I um, brought it up again, and I got it close to the red, and then I flinched off one because it slid on that slippery table. So that's the Winchester 129 grain PowerPoints for the Creedmoor. Well, there we go, right there. Found something the Creedmoor likes, my Vanguard likes, in a heavier grain. There's 140 grain uh, Federals right there. She's doing really good. I was uh, shooting a little low. You see the two low ones at first. Um, there's actually, there's three there. Well, two almost in the same hole, and then the third one. So I brought it up, and uh, you can see the three Two are in the red ones just out. And the other one on the left was a slip again. <laughs> but so I guess I found what my uh, 6.5 Creedmoor Weatherby Vanguard likes. It likes the Federal 140 grains. So that's what I'll be using for, the, for that. Now I'll get to uh, put some more targets up for the uh, PRC. Try those Federals for that. Well, that Creedmoor is shooting really well now with those 140 grain Federals. So I'm going to, I'm happy about that. Uh, getting it about an inch, a little bit less than an inch, actually. So that's good, finally. Those 129 Winchesters were going all over the place, and I thought, I was checking the scope and everything else. I was like, what the heck? I was going to end up trading a freaking rifle in. <laughs> but those 140s uh, set it straight and is doing really well now. So now I'm going to try the 7 PRC. I got a Federal 170 grain Ascents. Then I got a 175 grain ELDX as a try. Two separate targets. I shoot at the right target first with the 170 grains and see how that shoots. Then I'll do the uh, 175 grains on the left side, and I'll show you some more footage when I'm down at the at the range. Here's the rifle. I'll well show you the Zeiss Conquest, four to sixteen power. Awesome gun, nice and light. Scope is 
incredible. Probably the best scope I've seen to look through. It's nice and bright. The uh, crosshairs are perfect. And uh, target range is down yonder. See how she goes. Okay, there's the 170 grains. I had to shoot a bunch. First I was shooting high and right. And I kept dialing it down first till I got it rough, roughly parallel with the center line. And I started moving it over. I moved it over too far. Went way over to the left. And I drew it back in. So the last two shots, one is the high shot and the last shot is damn near center. So that's 170 grains. I shot plenty of those. It's not shooting that great with those, but that's, that's 170 grain Federals for the 7PRC. Here is the 175 grain Federals. As you saw, I was shooting a little bit uh, low and to the right. So I dialed that in. The last two shots are the two right in the red. Dead bullseye and just a hair over. Actually, the last three, one's scraping it on the edge there. So that I am extremely happy with. Now I know what both guns need for ammunition. I have a bunch of other boxes <laughs> that I don't need. Maybe I'll just shoot someday for shooting, but... Now I know what the gun likes, so that's what I'll be continually buying for it. The 140 grain Federal, no, the 175 grain Federals for that. That is shooting excellent. All right, here's the tail of the tape. These are the 170 grain Federal PRC Terminal Ascents. They did okay. They weren't really great. I'm getting probably maybe an inch, right around an inch group probably with those. These are the Precision Hunter Hornady 175 grain ELDXs. These didn't do very well at all. So that's why I ended up trying the Federals out. These ones are okay. These are the Federal Premium ELDX. So it's the same bullet, but they use a different powder. And these ones are shooting absolutely incredible. I'm getting three quarter inch to half inch group with it. As long as I can hold it, she's going to do it. So that's what's going in the in the pack for hunting season. And that's what she'll shoot from now on as long as I can find more of them. There she be cooling down. We're in a bore snake through it just to clean her out. That'll be good. All right. Glad I got that shooting done. I appreciate my brother letting me shoot out here. I wasn't really sure if he wanted to shoot out here because his food plot's right up there and he has some deer coming in there at night and stuff, so I don't want to spook him off for, for hunting for him. But uh, he said he didn't care, and so shoot it. And, but uh, main point of this video I wanted to show you is the difference between uh, different bullets, even different powders. I've been using the same exact bullet. Uh, the EL ELDX 175 grain was in the Hornady, and then it was shooting out of the Federal. They just used different powders, and the difference is, you know, quite, quite well. Uh, I was getting inch, inch and a half, probably with the ELDX uh, Hornady. I'm getting half inch to three quarters of an inch with the uh, Federal. So it makes a big difference. That's why if you've got a brand new rifle and you're shooting and it's not shooting well, you've checked all your uh, you know, screws, make sure everything's tight there, try different ammunition because some guns are just real finicky. I was getting real frustrated with the Weatherby, it, the Vanguard. It shoots the, uh, the 95 grain bullets really well. But I was having a hard time with the 140s. It wasn't shooting the Hornady very well. And it wasn't shooting the 129 Hornadies or uh, Fusions or uh, Winchesters. So the 140s in the, in the Federal, it likes. And it was half-inch, three-quarter-inch group with those, too. So just keep searching. And then once you can find them, buy a couple of boxes of them. Hope, preferably, if you can get them in the same lot. But a lot of times it's really hard to do that. But... Certain guns just like certain powder bullet mixtures and they'll shoot, you know, extremely well that way. And other ones, they'll just spray them all over the place. And it's not the gun most of the time. And also, I, I use the lead sled, kind of cheating a little bit there. But I was just going to make sure it wasn't me that was making the problems. And uh, even this this table is, is shaky. We need to have a nice, solid wooden table here, too. But at camp, I will have a rock-solid, hopefully... I'll get it, make a really heavy table out of heavy wood or cement or something. It ain't going to move. Uh, but that's you know, probably next next month. I'm not going to next month. In the spring, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. What else? Depends on what else I got going on over there. I got so much to clean up to do. But well, I'm really happy about the Weatherby and this uh, 
Bagara is shooting awesome. Can't complain about that at all with those bullets. So, first day of deer season was uh, yesterday. Didn't get anything. Didn't see, I didn't see a deer even driving in or driving out. Usually see something in or out, but, but uh, hopefully uh, Monday, tomorrow's Monday. Um, we'll see how that goes. I also want to kind of <laughs> say thank you to somebody. I got home, my brother said I had a, a letter from somebody from New York. I don't want to give out a lot of information. His name was Teddy. And he said him and his three sons watch my videos pretty well. And they, they sent me a check. So this is from Jesus Christ. And uh, we really appreciate, you know, like what you're doing. And we want to help, I guess, help me out a little bit. So they sent me a check. And I, from the bottom of my heart, I can't say thank you enough. I really appreciate that. Especially right around this time of year, uh, deer season. Um, so I'll be able to use that money towards getting something for the channel. I want to get something I can use on the channel and also I use it for gas money to be able to get up to KI and hunt up in the, in the mountains where I did some scouting up there and I got a few more places I still haven't gone. So that money will be put to good use. I honestly appreciate that. And you know, nobody has to do that. I'm telling you right now, I, I'm, <laughs> it's almost making me cry. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. And I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Hope this video was helpful for y'all. And I'll see you on the next one.